Our next guest is going to show us how to make cherry cordials, and he's the perfect person to teach us because Chef Carter Holton is a pastry chef instructor at Art Institute International. Welcome to the show, my friend. Okay. Good morning. What is a cherry cordial? So a cherry cordial is... We're going to take maraschino cherries that have the stem on them. We're going to dip them in fondant. Fondant is what candy corn is made out of. It's the filling for Cadbury cream egg, York peppermint patties. It's kind of like... What is the name of it? Fondant. So it's not like rolled fondant, which you cover cakes with. Right. This, is a, this is kind of like almost made like fudge would be made. It looks like really decadent frosting. It, it kind of is. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we have a little bit of fondant here. We're going to add a little bit of... Uh, liquor in there. This is liquor. just a little bit of Edelkirsch, so it's a cherry flavored liqueur. Now, you can make these non alcoholic, you yes. You can. So All you right. could use water instead. <laughs> but why would you want to? I mean, come on. <laughs> that doesn't make it a cordial, right? <laughs> right. So, what we're going to do is now there's invertase in here. Now, invertase is what's going to make it liquid. So, we're going to go from a white, kind of creamy outside okay. to a liquid center. All right. So, to get started, we're going to take our cherry. We've heated our fondant up to 160 degrees. Fondant and invertase. You're just dropping all these big terms today. I know, all these big. Big money words. So we're going to dip that in our fondant. Okay. And then we're going to put it on a sill pad. Now this is just a silicone mat. All okay. Right. And then once they've once they've been dipped, they kind of set up. Set up. And All you right. can move them around. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of chocolate. Now we're using tempered chocolate right now um, for a home cook. Uh, they could use chocolate chips and just melt them down, um, or they can use coating chocolate, which is available at specialty stores. So it's, it's a two-parter. It's, it's, it's a two-part two part. Right, gotcha. two right. system. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of chocolate okay. and just put a little bit out on our sill pat. Now, what is this business about, I hear, that you have to wait a whole week before you eat them? Well, so what the Invertase is, is it's an enzyme that eats, eats away at the sugar and breaks it down into a liquid form. So, if you've ever had a Cadbury cream egg, okay, it's what makes it liquid. All right, or junior mint. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so what we're going to do is then take our our cherries and we're going to put them on our little dot of chocolate. Okay. That's going to make sure that it seals it on the bottom. Okay. Okay. And then we have some that are already sealed on the bottom. All right. Now we're going to dip. Make sure that the chocolate goes all the way up the stem, so we don't want them to leak. And then, once they're coated, that invertase is going to start to work. And what it's going to do is oh. it's going to start to turn that hard fondant into liquid so that when we have our cherry cordials a week later, they have a... Look, very pretty. Lovely, nice. liquidy Look filling. at that. Now, I didn't know this, but you're sort of famous. You're, you were on a, a couple reality shows, weren't you? I Cooking. was. I was on Food Network Cake Challenge, so and I won the Star Wars Cake Challenge. And, uh, yeah. So, and now you're teaching kids, and, and we'll, br teaching. we'll bring Michelle in because look, now she's you're feeding us. Now exactly. You're feeding us. So this now is, we get to makes us now we get to happy. eat cherry cordials. So these were actually um, made with bourbon. So we mm -hmm. actually soaked our cherries in bourbon. And so, would you like one? I would love of one. Course. Thank you. And you I would are, not bless your heart, cooking this weekend. We as are. We're uh, we're mm. making chocolates. I have my students making chocolates, and I will be at the event at the Diffa event this weekend, which you can on Saturday the 17th. Yes. Which you can buy tickets at. DiffaKC.org. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Look at us. In stereo. How is it? Look I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go. Do the whole thing. Okay. Go for it. Mmm. Mm. It's delicious. Oh. It's really good. Oh, it's really okay, good. we're going to like take these off before yeah, anyone. Those are going to be gone before the show is over. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate it. And again, You're can you use dark, dark chocolate or is it always? You can use milk. You can use white chocolate. You can use dark chocolate. You know, suit it to make your preference. So. Okay, well, this is my preference right here. <laughs> Whatever this is, is good. Little dark chocolate. Thumbs absolutely. up. Thumbs up. We appreciate you coming on the show and, and teaching absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Awesome.